I know that uh, your services uh, do uh, accept medical students. I know that you accept registrars. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me the benefits that uh, a student or a registrar um, can, uh, can have when working at a community control health service? And on the other side, what uh, can those students or registrars uh, bring to the service that is benefit to them? Um, speaking on Toros Health, TCCHSS, um, what a registrar or med student will gain is knowledge of one, our community, one, our culture, our beliefs, uh, the second one is uh, he or she will gain more experience on communities compared to working in mainstream hospital where the difference between that is mainstream you will only be located or you only be programmed to work on one particular service where if you work on communities You'll have a wide range of <clears throat> wide range of um, service or care that you or knowledge you'll gain, like from primary primary healthcare to chronic disease management to yeah, and you'll gain a lot working with, within our community. And also, or the second one is the community will also gain having a Med, med student that, uh, that one day will become a full-time doctor in our community and the patients, our patient and our community will care or journey will have a long term, uh, will have a doctor for a long term rather than a short term and I think we'll, we'll gain both ways with community and <coughs> med student. Um. Yeah, we do get a lot of um, medical students up there um, that do come back and be uh, registrars or um, you, I think their benefits when they come into our community, they start building that relationship there and then as a medical student and with them being there, um, not only just um, being in with the doctors, you know, sitting in, watching. Um, of course, you ask the patients for permission first before they come in. So they start building that relationship then. And then most of them do go and come back. And then when they come back, the patients recognise who they are and they feel comfortable and it just continues, that relationship just continues, yeah. Um, at this, at this, uh, where I work in the community wellness centre, now we, the patients ask, can we have this doctor, the regular doctor? And we catered for that. Um, and some of them, they're happy to see other doctors as well. Um, but then you see the relationship there and, and the doctors as well that ask for that, that patient. So um, it's a benefit both ways, yeah. Um, I think it's just that relationship that you build from being a medical student to being a registrar, coming back being a registrar, or, yeah. <clears throat> so when you chose to be a medical student or a registrar or even take on the career of a doctor, your first thought would be that you would be helping people. So when you consider that Australia has come out with closing the gap and the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander community is a wide range of chronic diseases and there's a, a wide range of assistance that's out there and how you can be a part of that when you come back and work for us full time. The other thing that you could look at is the relationships that you build, not only with that individual patient, but you will find connections from that patient to other members within that community and how they're connected. And then you would be a part of that connection. Coming back and working full time as a GP within our service, will not only um, benefit your skills and ability and working through the chronic diseases and, and assisting and closing the gap that uh, we as a local community face, you, should you choose to go 
on to greener pastures, you'll be able to take those skills and ability with you.